Oh, cool. So we're just going to start off with some um, the, the dead easy one for you to play around with, which is some some lateral drags. Uh, left hand at the top, right hand halfway down. Remembering and thinking about tub of glue, tub of grease. So we want the stick to move in your right hand, so you can manipulate and move the ball. Okay. Nice and nice and balanced, nice and even. And we're going to move the ball from right to left to right. And what you want to try and do is build it up as quick as you can, making sure you go outside of the cones or markers or whatever you're using to do that. Once we get that done and we get used to it, we're trying to move our weight from left to right, you can start to think about getting that drag a bit bigger. So a bit further and actually trying to be nice and quick and nice and smooth, all right? If you want to progress it, you can start to add in a little drag either side. Okay, and you can also start to lift the ball from one side to the other. Okay, uh, next one we want to look at is simple V-drag. So you want to get yourself set up a set of cones in a triangle with the, the, big, the big end of the triangle at the top. And all you're gonna think about again is nice and balanced uh, same grip as before, still thinking about how we move the stick when the ball, and all you're going to be doing is moving it forward, pull it back, move to the other side, pull it back to your reverse, forwards, back, forwards, and what we want to do is make it as streamlined and as smooth as possible. Okay, so that version was done off our, our left foot. If you want to progress it, you want to try and do it off your right foot, and pull it back. So you're attacking the cone, right foot, pull it back and attack the other side. Okay, next one we want to look at is, is pullbacks. So again, you're going to move the ball forwards and then pull the ball back into your body space. Same grip, right hand loose, carry hard or, or move the ball towards where you want to go, pull it back. And the key is to actually pull it back and get this left leg out of the way back to your backhand, back on your forehand, and move off. Let's just show you again. And move off, I'm trying to eliminate a defender all the time. Another key skill to try and master is the ramp. Looking to try and use this to get over flat sticks all the time. So all that would happen is pull the ball and then just leave your stick underneath it. So we'll slow it down, pull, let it roll over and then move off. Show you again in real time. So you need to set up, set up your area with some cones acting like a stick. Good ball carry position, so open stick, try and get your head up, pull and lift it over. What we're not doing, we're not trying to flick it up with our stick, we're literally using the stick as a ramp. So you'll pull it towards you, leave your stick there, let it hit the angle of your stick and move over. So we'll just go through some of the, the skills and techniques for, for moving the ball. Clearly you've got to think about where you are, where you're doing it. If you're in your, in your house and you're in your, in your living room, you might want to grab a tennis ball, okay? If you're outside on the tarmac or on the grass and you might want, want to use a hockey ball or a softer ball, again, like a tennis ball. So just thinking about safety and thinking about where you are in your your home as to what actual ball you might use. We'll just talk through some of the key moving the ball skills. So the first one is the push pass. So again, body weight nice and balanced. And the key thing for this is to have a real strong base with how we push. All right, so much like you would when you go and hit a ball in cricket, you want to be in a nice, strong, wide body, pe uh, body position. Ball out in front of you, two Vs. So imagine there's double Vs down the back of the um, the shaft of the stick, nice and low ball and back foot and all you're going to work on doing is just pushing the ball. Okay, so one of the key things and, and uh, a real measure of how stable our base is, is once we push the ball, is that we can actually stay in this downward position. Other thing to think about, particularly around rotation, is once we push the ball, is to get your leg pointing in the direction and if you've got stripes on your trousers, for example, is you want to be able to see those stripes when you play the ball. Okay, 
just watch this one. And sometimes you'll have a noise, sometimes you won't. And those, two, those are two different skills. Second one to think about will be the slap. So again, ball goes in line with your front foot. You want to get your hands nice and low. Okay, same grip, V's down the, the edge of the stick. Stick stays in contact with the floor all the time. And literally, you actually sweep through. And again, that whole idea around our base is really important. So again, when we sweep, we should be able to stay nice, strong body position afterwards. Have a quick look at hitting. Same thing applies, and again, just that idea around choosing the right ball, depending on where you are. Two types of hit. You can do a short handle hit, so really good for accuracy, really good for speed. And if you get really good at this particular type of hit, then you probably, you'll probably use this quite a lot. Again, key emphasis on balance and base. Ball, ball out in front of us. Shoulders, so if you imagine I've got a stick going through my shoulders, the outside of my shoulder is the, the measure of where the ac how accurate it's going to be, so it directs where it will be. So as I strike the ball, I need the outside of my shoulder pointing at where the target is. Nice and low, hands go down halfway down the stick. Really controlled back lift, so you don't see any, any, any windmills, it actually just draws back, eyes down, and again, nice and balanced, swing through. And as you'll see again, my toe starts to point at the direction I want to hit the ball, so I get maximum power. And if you've got stripes, you want to get that hip engaged. So again, you get full rotation as you strike the ball. Lastly, I'm nice and balanced at the end. I'll show you again. Ball out in front, nice and balanced, hit through. Yeah, yeah. It's good, that, so uh, particularly with drag flicking, they talk about wear shorts, because it's like when you throw a, a javelin, so they side on and then they want that rotation. It's exactly the same thing as hitting a ball, striking a ball, whatever it might be. Last one, long handle hit, same thing, but you might want to be a bit further away. And I would really encourage us to not be, not be down here, but to actually be stepping into it, nice and balanced, get low, okay, as you hit it and stay low. If you want to start to, to build that up, some great little progressions for you to think about. First of all, down on one knee, and you want to be a stick length away, and all you're working on here is just setting the way you swing the ball, working on your positioning, so your shoulders, where your knee is in line to the ball. So all you'll do is do a few as you walk, go through. Second progression from that is so what you might call a prone position, so you just, without stepping in, you're down low already, so a bit of effort on the core, but you're low, and you strike, so it's all round. And then the third one would be literally to step into it, so you want to be twice the distance away that you were before, step in, and strike. Something to really think about for all, all hits, is the angle with which we hit the ball. So a lot of the time when we trap, if we were to then turn our stick over, our grip would look a lot like that, which then when we hit the ball a lot of the time, that's why we end up topping the ball. So as we go to strike, you've got to really think about making sure that you address your grip so that when you hit the ball, it's flat, not rolled over, all right? Because that means we can get a nice flat hit. It's a real common issue. So. Just that quick change in grip so that you can strike. And all it will be, it will become, start to become subconscious, but it's literally, you receive, and then as you go and hit, as you notice the grip changes, and I hit through, okay?